Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back. Another edition. The Brilliantly Dumb Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I've told you before, I'll tell you again and again and again. The Brilliantly Dumb Show is brought to you by our good friends over at Celsius. If it ain't Celsius, I got news for you. I ain't drinking it. Do I have water next to me? Yeah, I do. But you know what? I ain't drinking it because it ain't Celsius. Start your day the right way. Start your workout the right way with our boys and girls over at Celsius. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing things a little bit differently today here on the Brilliantly Dumb Show. You're going to see this cast of characters coming in right there. You have Mikey V to the top left shelf right there. And Perez, you have Fat Perez on the bottom right who has a green screen that doesn't look to be working right that now. Looks like, uh, yeah. It looks like the Ghanaian national flag behind Perez, it's not there, working. Which, is, which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Perez, what, by the way, do you have somebody behind it moving it? Uh, that is that is me. I feel like I thought for sure you were going to come out with some type of background. Hey, Jess. And then we got Benyamin. I, and- I did intend to. I in act- Actually, I, in fact, selected one that appears to just not be working. So when as Perez, as when as Perez as left as his as full as time, as when Perez left his full time job, I feel like he just knew that he like needed to buy something. So he was just like, all right, fuck it. I'm going <laughs> to buy oh, it. Oh, that's wow. much more befitting. Yeah, I feel like he Much likes like I, I gotta buy something, and was just like fuck it, I'm gonna buy a green screen, and then there's the green screen. Yep, now, that's exactly how it went. We have no Joey D today. Joey D is out horseback riding. Uh, bear down. Did he not say that he was horseback riding yesterday? No, I believe it was uh, the word he used was excursion. <laughs> yeah, was the word. he had a, he had a planned excursion. And listen, this is the life that you enter once you know you enter wifey world. It's it's a different world, and uh, God bless him. And he looks like he's having a good time there, and. We wish him nothing but the best and safe travels as always. Safe travels as always. So you have no Joey D. You have Fat Perez. You have the Jet, and you have Bear Down. Now, Jet, I, I said to you earlier, and I actually think that, I think you, I think it's part of. I don't want to say your plan, but I think you like picking your spots on when you come on to the show because then when you come. You really, you like to play something like people want to hear from you to where I do actually believe that you pick your spots accordingly of when you're going to come on. Um, I, it's not part of the plan never has been, but it's, it works to that advantage in the sense that I never want to be on it. So that when I come on it, there's <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, no, check goes there's to a me. nice like mystique about it, you know? A jet. I I called him earlier. I was like, Jet, like you want to do on the podcast? Like we're just bringing on the boys for the podcast. And he's like, Fuck you, fuck your podcast. And for you to think that I have the time and I can hear him editing Bob to Sports in the back. He's the, like, the keyboard clicks. Whoa, Perez. What the fuck the- is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Perez. Whoa, that's not delivery. It's DiGiorno, folks. What <laughs> is that? That is uh, half of a Red Baron pizza. Oh, that looks by the way, I've heard I've heard the Red Baron is a solid frozen. Option. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. No, you just I gotta get it. Like, yeah, I you gotta like get Red a little Baron. well done. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. But to. Perez, that looks way too like that. Doesn't look that good to be honest. That looks like half a manhole cover with some cheese <laughs> on top. Of it. Yeah, that is. I crazy. could cut it up, but that is crazy. I do actually. I will say though, I do like Red Baron. I like the little mini um. Red Baron does a really good deep dish pizza. Okay. There's their small little deep dish is good. By the way, Binyamin coming off a very big purchase today. One that could really change a lot of things for you, Jet. Jet coming off the air fryer purchase. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was time. It was time. Once I realized I have no idea what I'm doing, I hit up the air fryer. Right. Why? Because were you just doing were you just doing all postmates? Well, I had started with all postmates and then and then I tried cooking and then I lost my security deposit. So now I have to uh, you know hit the air fryer. <laughs> I just am laughing for watching Perez eat that pizza. I just can't I just can't take my eyes off it. Jet the, the air fryer is a staple in, in uh in my household. Absolute yeah, it staple. It just makes life it just makes life easy. And by the way, clean up easy. Oof. I've That's seen, true. I've seen you on these pods a lot. I've I don't know if I've ever seen this angle of the man cave. 
It's mm. unreal. Yeah, I did a good we just, job. Uh, we just got the new stools, bro. The new stools have changed the game for the bar because wow. the stools the I had were man. unacceptable. I mean, they were from, they were not the proper height for the bar top. They were from our old house, and we just brought them over because we had a pub height table that we used to use in our kitchen. So I had I was stuck with those, and everything now is like if you try to order anything furniture wise now. It took almost two months to get yeah. these bar stools here. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's and they keep sending you the emails. It's been delayed. It's on back order. It's been delayed. It's on back order. Everything. Nothing is easy anymore. Those you are special. Those oh, are really Perez. special. They're they're built tough, bro. They 300, look... 300 pound plus capacity, rotating. Don't hold, sleep on the arm plus. Rest, hold back. Yeah. yeah Perez, was that happen. was his couch not because I mentioned it on a, a few episodes ago? Because Holly mentioned it, and I would trust them to do the right thing couch wise. Is Bear Down's man cave couch? Not terrific to where I feel like so many times people want to go more so looks wise with the couch. It it it's one of the more comfortable couch. Every spot reclines. Mm-hmm. Is that not a yeah. terrific couch? Yeah, it is from an individual seat perspective and the recline feature. Absolutely a great couch. I think if you're going man cave, if you're going basement, you need to get rid of the whole looks aspect of it. Not that it is not an unattractive couch. But you don't need like a slip cover couch. You don't need no. a leather couch. No. This is strictly an entertainment. How does the person feel sitting in that seat? That's the only thing that matters. And he nailed that. And it looks like he nailed it with the bar stools. I'm I'm particularly into the width of that seat. Um, yeah. as, a, as a big man, I can just see that right now that you have you have thought about every one of your friends yes. when you made that purchase. Yep. Um, also the back of these of the uh bar stool oh, a oh. bar stool with no back is it's it's, it's not a chair head. this is a piece it's of furniture awful. like if yeah. you come over here now and you got this Bro. thing i mean that this, does look I, nice this oh, is wow. i mean it's, it's those could be it's, in yankee stadium well the thing is is like listen the couch only sits three people it used to sit four we had to take a seat out of the couch because you know the layout of the basement is just a little bit different than the old place so you know we have more room square footage wise but we had to Take a section out. These are the type of chairs, bar stools that you could sit in these for three hours, watch mm-hmm. a game at the bar, and be totally comfortable. That so it's like is, having another piece of furniture. I, I probably shouldn't ask, but I'm going to. What does something like that run though, Mike? They're outrageous. Bar, stool. bar stools are the most overpriced okay. piece of furniture. Is that, that so? You could, yeah, bro. To buy a quality bar stool is about like a real quality bar stool is about 350 to 400 a stool. And that's on the low end. You can get up to $700 a stool for full back armrest, heavyweight capacity. All it's it's one of yeah, the more absurdly priced items that you could buy. It's ridiculous. It's, it's ri- it'll make you vomit. It's worth it though because you no, know what is. you could it just is. tell. I mean that place you go down there it just it means a lot to you. We look. I I'd love to see FP get a little bit of a man cave himself. Lord I mean, FP had to close that. down the kitchen so that he could get the <laughs> green screen. Yeah, I mean, he's <laughs> actually in a guest room right now. Isn't, isn't that, she's making chili, so I I, I took yeah. a I made a decision to come sit in here. Love my my show. my one question on the couch though, bear down, and and I don't know if that to me it's a trade off situation when you have the like a three seated couch mm-hmm. where you've got recline. Power recline, by the way, if yeah. if I'm not mistaken. What ma- wait, what wait, what makes it a power recline? Like it's not a handheld. You don't pull it's it. You just button press. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm with that's you. that's great. Um, what when you do that, you get three people in maximum comfort, which we had in the live stream. Yep. It, it, correct me if I'm wrong with this particular couch. What you might lose is the ability to lay across the couch comfortably. Yes, you, you have, have to issue. you you have to slightly recline each chair somewhat, just like at a slight angle. You're not going full recline, but you got to give yourself a little a little dip. A little a little, a little, you got to go above an acute angle, right? You okay. got to go above acute angle, and then you could get the nice lay across. But I've never. It's not the type of couch where I'm going to lay across because yeah. if you go full recline, that's it. I'm tapped out. I agree. You just pass out easily. So it's, and the TV and is such that you don't need to. Yeah. See, I'll actually mm-hmm. say, and, and Jed, I've told you before, and I've given you a, a big compliment. I actually, Jet's place to watch a game. What Jed has that I'm a big fan of is the stone backdrop. You yeah, see you how Jed's see got yeah, that, nice. that yep. stone? And yep. he really is. It's a nice TV. The only two problems I have is Jet A is anything Roku I want nothing to do with when it mm-hmm. comes to streaming a game. 
You know what I mean? Because I hate being on the delay, especially if you yeah, have like a group chat. That. I do because even like the Yankee when we had the Yankee games going, Mikey V somehow is always first to updates. His TV is always running at about fifteen seconds before everybody else. That's easy. he's on the East Coast. <clears throat> Yes. People on the East Coast, I don't know what it is. They get the they it, go, it comes faster. You'll yeah. know what happens 15 seconds earlier. And then if you if you're getting it through streaming, it's even worse. And I hate it, but I just you know whatever it came so, with it came with the thing. One of the splurges that I did down here that was like a deal breaker if I couldn't do it when I put the bar TV up. I have a cable box, obviously, on the big TV. I wasn't going to go streaming on that TV. Now I could stream. I have to stream certain things. The Bears game, out of market game, they have to be streamed. But for the bar TV, it was like, well, you know, it's just a, it's a bar TV. You could just go off the smart apps on the TV. So yeah, the does. one splurge I did do, I did get another cable box to have a cable box to that TV also. So that TV is always up to date. You, you know, Dickie Gas will not accept a 30 second lag oh, in an LSU oh game God. on a Saturday night. He will simply not accept that. Well, I mean, look, with, with, with live betting and the live lines, you can't, Correct. You can't you, afford no, you can't. to have a you delay. Can't. You can't. You yeah, know, that's not a personal preference. You cannot live. You cannot live bet a football game or any game for that matter on a stream. I, as far as I know, you can't. You're always behind the eight ball. Mm -hmm. If you have cable and you're up to date, those lines, those are where you could really. A lot of smart gamblers make a lot of their money doing live wagers because it kind of gives you that little leg up. Like they, the bookie has no time to handicap it. Really, it's just it's just coming out as it goes, and that's advantageous. Did it, did it cross your mind at any point to have? You know what some people have in their man cave that I actually hate is when they have the ticker, like that, like ESPN ticker. Oh, scroll. see, I'm oh, a no sucker ticker. for that. I, I, I hate I'm a that sucker for no that. No ticker. No that ticker. That is the most like no. over, like, no. yeah, you just, you can't, you can't, no, can't be the because, guy with ticker. Because if you have a phone or you have Twitter, that yeah. is your ticker. Yes, I agree completely. And it gets to the point where, you know, the, the, uh, the Sunday ticket option, when I watch the Bears has like the option, I turn it off. For like the big play update, they have like a big play right. update thing. I'll either have red zone on on the other TV, but honestly, if the Bears are playing, I don't put the red zone on because I'm on a little delay on the Bears games if it's a satellite game. If it's a local game and it's directly off the cable, I'll put the red zone on. No ticker. I I, I agree with you 100%. It's a spoiler. That's all it is. I, I don't want it. It's bad juju, I, I, but I'm also insane. So. See, I, yeah, I am a, I'm a little bit of a sucker for that ticker. I do actually like that ticker. Now I will tell you the stream, the only streaming that, that I think has actually been very good and it's different than like a Roku or anything like that, but someone who I actually thought, and I, I would buy it. If we were doing a buy sell segment, I would buy it. The Amazon prime stream, I think has been terrific. The Thursday night football. Now the Thursday night football games have sucked, Yeah, but I think the Amazon prime stream has been really good. And don't they have Herb street doing it? Yeah, Herb Street and Al Michaels, who surprisingly, I, I thought he died. I didn't know he was still going. <laughs> left, he left NBC and everybody's like, okay, like that's it for Al Michaels. And then he popped up on Amazon and uh, he must've got a nice, nice little bag from, uh, from Amazon. By the, can He's we talk about NBC? Perez, I'm, I, I'm going to say it. I, I'm going to say it. I, I, right. I think two of, I very rarely will Fat Perez give like a, a real cold take or just say something that the whole room is just like, you know, what? Like, what did he just say? Do you remember? Do you know where I'm going with this? I know Jet? exactly where you're I do. I do know. And I, uh, I know I'm, on, I'm with Bob and against, I think it's, I'm the complete opposite as well on this one. It is two people that Fat Perez is not a fan of. Okay. Is Kirk Herbstreet Oof. is one of them. And I then mean, I'm. Mike, yeah. I'm trying. Wait, Bear down, my like that. Bear down. Yeah, I that well, he's oh, an Ohio okay. State okay. guy, so yeah, Ohio yeah, State guy. I get that's that. true. Yeah. Is Kirk Kirk Herbstreit was one of them, and then who was the other one? You had a really bad take on on somebody else. Um, Joe Buck, probably. Oh, Joe Buck. I mean, I agree with that. I, I don't know if that's what it was, but but Joe Buck, but, I don't mind. I, Joe Buck, I can do baseball, but I do not he's like tough. him. He's tough. I don't like him Is at all. Though? Football. I, you know, he's he is, baseball. He is, and I really he don't like him baseball. I got a buddy that, that baseball makes that my no time. But he's only he does in football now. Yeah. He's good. I like Joe Buck because he knows he like is he became self-aware. He used to be not self-aware, yes. and then he became self-aware and he realized that. that people give him shit and then everybody thinks he hates their teams. I, he started like playing into that, and I can appreciate that. 
I, yeah. I respect Herb Street's hustle because you want to talk about a guy who does all over, all over the world. I mean, this guy's on set for college game day. Then he flies to whatever the primetime game is that he's calling with Fowler. And by the way, Chris Fowler, Chris Fowler is one of the best follows on Instagram. This is guy so? is so out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's very much like, he oh, reminds he, me yeah. a little Joe Rogan vibe almost like he's very much puts himself out there. He's on a private jet with Herb Street breaking down the bet. One of the best videos I ever saw was about 10 minutes long. Him and Herb Street after the LSU Bama game two weeks ago were on a private jet and they were both drinking. It looked like scotch or something on the plane. These guys, the way Chris Fowler was talking about college football, it would make you think he was writing like a love sonnet to the sport of college football, how he was talking about this LSU Bama game. I miss him on game day. I like him a lot better yeah. than the host they have now. I forget his name escapes me. Not Corso, <laughs> not Herb Street. Desmond the Howard's the a complete fucking it's clown. I hate him. Reese Davis. Reese Davis. Yeah, Reese yeah, Davis. Davis. Yeah. I, I was a Fowler guy. I'll always be yeah. a Fowler guy. I think he's awesome. But don't and you him miss, and Herbie together are but don't you miss uh don't you miss Brent Musburger on the call with oh, I do Brent, like Brent, Brent Musburger? Brent's 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 an all. I put we did top five sports announcer. I think I had Brent in my top five. Brent is an all timer. I mean, yeah, him so and Keith, Keith yeah. Jackson are college football. As as I think concerned. I think people, first off, just in regards to the Joe Buck thing, people love to to give Joe Buck a hard time. They do. There's, there's they some do. announcers where they're so iconic that their voice is so iconic that it almost feels home. When you turned on the World Series game and you heard yeah. Joe Buck's voice, as much as people love to hate on him, you hear his voice and then you instantly know, okay, we're watching the World Series right now. I think there's something to be said for that. Now, he called the ALCS too, didn't he? Back in, yeah, before before he- No, was, this yeah. he didn't call it this year, the ALCS? I think he's on ESPN now. And he really bothered me in some of those Yankee Astro games. Some of the calls. But Bob, Bob, I think, Bob Costas was what, what was Bob Costas. Bob That's Costas. Who it is, yeah. Bob. He that guy's a bomb. And I, I was ready to I was ready to jump through the screen and choke Bob Costas. He yeah, was he was so anti Yankee and it was so obvious. I mean, it was just ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was very aggravating. But I agree with you, Jet. I think people. Do give Buck a hard time, but Buck and Aikman, I, I just can't stand the Buck and Aikman. Bob Costas, he he like after like the 93 NBA finals, like he lost it because he still is living, he's living yeah. in like he still talks as if like Mickey Mantle's in center field. Yeah. He does <laughs> anyway, he, he, he needs to, he needs to go Costas. do he is, he might be yeah. the fastball yes. lot. Bob yeah. Costas needs yeah. to go wherever the winter Olympics are being held. He needs yeah. to take care of the Winter Olympics and figure skating <laughs> and his little end of night monologue where he acts holier than hell yes. and makes some political <laughs> statement with yeah. one of his eyes red. And he just needs to stay there for yeah. four years until the next Winter Olympics goes. And then they can fly him to Tokyo or Sochi, I wonder, wherever the hell he's going. I wonder, That's where he's he's doing, I wonder if he's doing World Cup because World Cup starts oh, this week. I wonder God. if he's there doing are, World Cup. There are booth not, guys. No. And there are studio guys, and he's yeah. a studio. Guy. He's a big studio guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs a teleprompter. He yells at people right before the his segment starts, and then he's the nicest guy in America for six minutes. And then he screams at someone after, him, "Where's my latte?" Where's like, my big, big, like big, like big, like big poppy, big poppy, and Pedro are are studio guys. Like, yeah. I love, I love big poppy in the studio, kind of like I love Shaq in the studio and Barkley in the studio. But like, could you ever imagine? Like Big Poppy, like calling right. a big game, like it would be, it would be a disaster. I, I think so Poppy bad. is an he's an he's an analyst. Like yes. I wouldn't trust Bob Costas to analyze the game. I trust him to announce the game, but I also would rather him be like, "Here's highlights from the Packers game," as opposed <laughs> to telling me what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Folks, our next sponsor is a sponsor that I just so happen to use and take every single day, a product that I use and take every single day, Athletic Greens. You cannot go wrong when you're taking Athletic Greens. I wanted better mental health, physical health, gut health, and that is exactly what Athletic Greens does. You cannot go wrong when you go Athletic Greens. With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you are absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. You can't go wrong. It starts your day right. I do it. I take one scoop of the Athletic Greens, down it with the water, and I am good to go. Mentally, I feel great. Physically, I feel great. After a workout, I use it, and it is absolutely terrific. Now, to make it easy, 
Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb dumb right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition do it with athletic greens you can't go wrong you know i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna ask you guys to do it but bear down you should we were on a bob to sports trip and you know who him and jet and brez started doing impressions of back and forth and it's just such a funny impression to do it's not a sports announcer they were doing Tucker Carlson impressions, but they oh. were doing it on like day day to day stuff. <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> hysterical, and they were just bouncing off each other, going back and forth. Absolutely, well, that's, that's, the, that's when you do the like an iconic voice, and you just do talk about regular stuff. Like that's why I find the Dickie V stuff so funny. When you do the Dickie yeah. V voice, oh, and you're best. just talking about like making a like making like a hot dog or something, it's just hysterical. <laughs> it's the oh, best. look at squeezing that mustard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you serious? Look at how brown that bun. What the left wing media isn't telling you about mustard <laughs> is it's actually imported from Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so is that fun. is that That's not so terrific? Man. Yeah, it's awesome. And they That's were bouncing awesome. off each other. It was unbelievable. Um, whereas I wanted to to mention real quick, um, we have and we won't get into too much of it. Like we were talking about the announcers thing and how that, like how hard that is to do. We did a recently. We went to Austin, Texas for our TV debut, the Bob the Sports Crew. Okay. And we were, it, it was a, it was like a pitch and putt thing that we were following with. They had four pros and it was me, Fat Perez, Joey Coldcuts, and then Amanda Rayner, who's terrific. And she does, she works for CBS. So I think she's worked with like Jim Nance and stuff like that. So she was like the pro. And then, you know, you have Fat Perez, Coldcuts, and myself, and we pretty much had to commentate these guys golfing and it, it was hysterical but i will say it's not an it's not an easy thing to do it's no. a it's a it's a tough thing to do yeah you know what i mean yeah, yeah I, what we do with bob does sports is so like being ourselves on the golf course like in our element and like there's no script we don't know what's going to happen with these ma- i mean it's golf right it's unpredictable the things we say are unpredictable it it was it was very like it was hard in the sense of like you got to be you got to be on your game you have like you know things you need to touch and just like you know in some extent like watching your mouth and like there's a lot of things that go into it um I probably forgot that we were doing it halfway through well I'm being honest I'm really worried about what they have there apparently, was, um, apparently so is Bob. And, uh, there was there was a there was a time halfway through where we went over to Perez and he's got like those tin cups because they were doing cocktails and he's got like four stacked like while he's drinking <laughs> one and he turns and he says something to the camera that I think is gonna get cut, but it hit me and I'm like, you know, we had been doing it for a while by then, and like at, then you just kind of get used to like the cameras being there. I'm like, this guy's got no idea anymore that he's on TV. Like he has totally forgot the fact that like, you know what I mean? That like we call that comfortability for us. It was unbelievable. But the thing that I did want to say every single time Perez is a pro, you could put as many guys in front of him, golf shot and whatnot. Find me. You put that many people in front of me to hit a golf shot. They had like reverse mulligans where we had to hit a golf shot. And every single time, that I've ever watched golf and jet. I know you, you get this is like when you see all the people lined up to the side on the ropes and you see people surrounding the green and you watch the pros, I always put myself there. And like, I think to myself, like, thank God that's not me because I would be so worried about taking somebody's neck off. They did a thing where there's reverse mulligans. So if one of the pros hits a good shot, the other team could say, okay, we want to take that back and use one of the announcers to hit the shot. So eventually it comes to me and they use me for the shot. So it's on the last hole and everybody's chanting my name. And I'm telling you right now, I I knew it was going to be an issue. 
and I'm standing over the ball. I'm realizing that this thing's going to be on TV. I take a club. I skull a ball so bad to where to watch just a sea of people just scurry and just run to not it was it not bad i mean it, it's if, it's if, a helpless feeling yeah if if you had if you had done what you did on purpose it would be against the law like it would <laughs> <Yeah>. be negligence <laughs> it would be it would be it would be it would be assault or like <laughs> It would be attempted assault or something. Yeah. I don't know, attempted battery or something. But it was it was it was a weapon. You put a weapon through the air quickly at at skull height of people, and it was like this <laughs> sea and it just hits in the hill behind. Yeah. Like someone oh, was it was. There. <laughs> and there was a time when I'm over the ball and I thought to myself, "I shit you not." I was like, "There's no way I hit a good shot here. There, oh, there's no good. there's no outcome." And so yeah, I mean, it's going to be on TV, and it's it is it's. Honest to God, it's 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 gonna be hard for me to watch, but just to <laughs> see those people just scurrying. Um, I will give you. I will say one thing for you is that when you watch golf, generally, like especially around the greens, there's still like they're not there's still some space, some rough and stuff, and bunkers. The way they had this set up on this little kind of pitch and putt course, the ropes were. I mean, it was the green, and then it was patrons. So it was literally like right on the edge all the way around. So, I mean, if you don't hit the green, you're hitting someone. So, I, I mean, I'll give you that. Like there, there's no margin for error, but you probably would have hit somebody if it was, if it was PGA tour as well. So. Absolutely brutal. Um, changing gears here for a second, bear down. I got to ask you this. And I, I asked you just to save it for the podcast. Cause I didn't want to even know the answer. And I just like, I never saw you as intense you are about sports and as much as you love sports, I -hmm. never thought you would be one of these guys. I get a message from bear down today. He goes, turn on WFA and the sports talk radio, like try and get to it. You were one of the guys you made a call in to a radio show today to stay on hold. And I never understood the people. I I mean, I didn't get through. I was on hold for too long. I had to pick the kid up, but I I had, I had abandoned ship. So if you did get called through, like, what was your reason for calling in sports talk radio? Cause I never thought that I, you would go I there. Never, I that. never call unless they, they, they talk about something and they know less than I do. And, <laughs> and this was one of those, th- this was an instance where Evan Roberts <laughs> with Craig Carton, Craig Carton, the infamous <laughs> Craig Carton, obviously Craig Carton, the HBO special, the gambling addict he used to do Bur- boomer and Carton in the morning. Well known around these parts. Anyway, he does a show with Evan, and they do the afternoon drive. Evan Roberts is well known too. They no, he's talking. not. Yeah, he is. He is over he's here. Who no, yeah. the hell are these people? Oh, they're no Humpty, Stumpy, and Rockefeller. <laughs> so anyway, um, he's talking about Justin Fields, and he's talking about Daniel Jones, and he's saying that the Giants' offensive weapons are much poorer. And, and, and that Daniel Jones is in a worse situation than Fields. And I vehemently disagree with that. I mean, I, I, for him to say that is just, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Like he doesn't, he knows Daniel Jones and the Giants very well, because that's the local team, but he has no idea what he's talking about. Justin Fields has a, an undrafted free agent center that sucks. Justin Fields has a fifth round FBS, not even FCS left tackle rookie. I mean, he's got... This guy's got Saquon Barkley, who's an absolute game wrecking elite player. But Bear Fields down. doesn't have anybody down. close to that. But so he down. just needed to be told this. That was the purpose of the call. But obviously, I couldn't get through. I was on hold for a half hour. I had to go. But right or right or wrong, okay, whether you're right or wrong, what what's the best possible outcome for you? That Craig, on Car- that call? Craig Carton would have agreed with me because I know Carton was leaning the other way, and that Carton, <laughs> Carton was awesome. <laughs> you and that <laughs> Evan Roberts would have to admit that that he was wrong. You have to swallow a little pride because these guys shoot off at the mouth. No one calls them out on it because everyone's a coward. So nobody nobody calls them out. I called out those two other clowns, uh, Greg Giannotti and uh, what's his name? That other fat bozo who does the morning show. Uh, and, and I called them out on my page and I said, everyone tag them about 2000 people tagged them. Still no response from either. Jesus of them. Christ. And they're that's, that's, I mean, check Nobody on. calls these guys out. Bro. You say, I, I agree. Well, Surely like, you have something better to do. do. I know I do. he does. I have, I have He's a, a busy guy. To do. This is the He's, second time yeah, I, I have called it. into a radio show. It's a bad yeah. look. Wait, hold on. I have it's not called into WFAN and I have not made contact 
<laughs> the last time I did, Mike Francesa was still on the air, and I talked to Mike Francesa before a Bears Giants preseason game in 2020. Jesus. And I called in because the topic was take your kid to a preseason game. I took Dom, and they charged fifty dollars for me to take Dominic to a preseason game. To have to make a kid pay for a ticket that's one years old. I had a Bob. He was eighteen months old. <laughs> I know. I had to buy a ticket for him but for a preseason game. They can't get anybody in the building. <laughs> so that money didn't Francesa. go to Francesa. Yeah, Francesa, like he got the money. Was outraged. He was outraged. Everybody, okay. everybody, was outraged. Has, everybody has shit to do until radio announcers start talking shit about Justin Fields. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 if I heard that, I would. They were praising him, but they were saying that he's a boomer bust and that. I that, know that Jones's situation is worse and there's nobody playing with a worse situation on, top, on an offensive that, roster than Justin. Peele. I'm fully, I'm totally on board with you calling. I just want to know if you say a uh, long time listener, first time call. No, they, no, oh, no, you no, don't. no, no, okay. I would, I would have immediately actually, if I had, I made contact, I would have said, Evan, let me just explain something to you. And I'm going to give you X, Y, Z reasons why I'm credible to listen to on this. And then I would have went into that spiel. Would you, and then I would have yourself- delivered my points. Boom, boom, boom. Would and you he would have had nothing to say. He would have had nothing to say. He would have been speechless. But Bear and down, that would have been worth the call. You're better than that. You really it's, are. I mean, you, but Bob, you, I, I I don't call in regular. I'm not a regular caller. Does I have, never has nothing to do with you. The, the bottom line is you took your time. And look, God bless the the nut jobs that do call in. God bless them because they're what makes it so great. But that's now, exactly Jerry what Don they are. would agree with me because he was a caller. Yeah, yeah well, Jerry Don caller. is the biggest nut job of them all. That's fine, but here's the thing: I am not going to allow people who have the people's ear on the airwaves operate with impunity. When you're wrong, and it's a topic that I know more about you, uh, I know more about than you. I'm going to call you out on it. And he needed to be called out on it. And he's lucky I didn't get through. Period. One of he my favorites. I will say the best thing we've ever done on this program. I, I've said it before. I'll say it time and time again. Jet, you, you, you know, Jet, were you, were you producer on I the think, show at the time? Yeah, yeah. Is this what I think it is about? Go for it. Go for it. What is this? Is this the Gordon Hayward? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you made Jerry call in. I mean, Gordon Hayward, he's a top 10 player. <laughs> <laughs> he, he talked to these guys. He had to get on. He had to make a sports talk radio and convince them that Gordon Hayward is a top 10 player in like 60 seconds. So he just <laughs> talked about like steak and like dinner for the first time. And then he started rambling, getting like deeper and deeper. And they were buying into it. And then he's like, I mean, this guy's a top 10 player. And they're like, all right, Jerry. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was, he had, I think he had, I gave him, um, I think it was 47 seconds that he had to be on the line on uh, Sports Talk Radio. And he that's had the tough. last season. That's, that's longer than it sounds like. That's, yeah, a, no, tough that's, a, ton of, that's a ton of time. That's 47 time. seconds to talk. And, and the point he had to make was so ridiculous that Gordon Hayward was a top 10 player in the NBA, which at the time, like, he absolutely wasn't. And the <laughs> still way, isn't. Still isn't. <laughs> the way that Jerry did it, it, it was the funny, because, like, he gets the guy going. He, what was the, Whatever the guy's name is, he's like, do you like steak? And he's like, was yeah. It, uh, he's like, do you like so salt we'll, on your steak? He's like, either, Gordon it was Hayward. Either Will Kane. Yeah, it was, it was something Kane, like Or that. was he? Humpty Dumpty or Rockenberg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like you wouldn't have steak without the That's... pepper, would you? <laughs> yeah. That's like having it's like having Kemba Walker without Gordon Hayward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a top ten player. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get we gotta get that clip. It's one of my it's one of my favorites of all time. Good for him. Good for yeah, him. I, I I guess so. But Bear Down, that was I mean, I just that's it's so unlike I guess I guess it's not unlike you, but when Bear Down said that he was calling in to the fan, I, I just I couldn't believe it. Um and, and, and hit you up to be there <laughs> yeah, to be ready for it. I know yeah. Bob, which I, I did Bob, Bob listened to the fan back in the day, so it's you know, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he knows what I'm talking about. If I texted that to anybody else, somebody. not local. They'd be like, oh. yeah, I, I would have, if Bear Down did get on, I would have liked the clip because I, I would have really enjoyed um, playing it. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliantly Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliantly Dumb Show is brought to you by our good friends over at BetterHelp.com. Life doesn't always go the way you want to, and it doesn't come with a user manual. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. That's why BetterHelp.com is here. BetterHelp.com matches you with a licensed therapist. They have matched over 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% 
online, plus it's affordable, and you don't have to go to a doctor's office or go to some type of building. You could do it all from the comfort of your new home, of your home. You can't go wrong when you go with betterhelp.com. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash BDS. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash BDS, betterhelp.com. Change your life today for the better. Um, fellas, let's get, we got a good old Monday night football game today. We're recording this here Monday night. Um, let's get into our top five of the night here, boys. What we're going to be doing today, get into uh, the season coming up soon, a little early, but still not really early. It's a phenomenal holiday. Thanksgiving to me um, is unbelievable. I personally think why people like Christmas more than Thanksgiving is Christmas has that buildup. It's like a one month buildup that Thanksgiving doesn't get. I would actually go on the record to say, I think Thanksgiving's better than Christmas on that particular day, the day of the holiday, because Christmas is very, with all due respect, um, to people celebrating Hanukkah, it's a little bit better. You get the eight days with Christmas the, I mean, and bear down, you have kids, you know, now we don't really get gifts anymore, but you have kids. It, it's so great in the morning. You Nothing get that better. good spurt. Yeah. You get Nothing that better. great spurt for the first couple hours and then it's over. And then you're almost sad that yeah, I, I'm a Christmas Eve guy. Always was. Christmas yeah, Eve was, was 20 times up. bigger in my family yeah. than, than Christmas. So, uh, yeah, but I, I know what you're saying with the build up and everything like that. Kids is a game changer though, because so, when they light up, when you give them that yeah, stuff, it's gotta it's, be fun. It's so fun. It's so fun. Cause they just go insane. It's fun. fun. Um, so what we're going to be doing top five Thanksgiving sides here today, gentlemen. And um, I think what we're going to do is I, I think we're going to start off with Mikey V. Mikey V, I'd like you to set the tone here. This is going to be top five Thanksgiving sides. We'll let you take it away. Mikey V. Really didn't think I was going to be going first. Yeah, um, I want you to set the tone. Okay. Um, number five, give me a uh, string bean casserole. String bean casserole, solid dish. Uh, you know, under normal circumstances, I really have no desire to eat string beans, but when it's in a casserole, it's really unhealthy and it, it, it's a lot tastier. So give me a string bean casserole at five. At four, give me candied yams. I love a good candied yam, the melted marshmallow perhaps on top. I, I'm a candied yam guy. I, I think they're delicious. Um, I'll go with that at four. Uh, number three... I cut you off real quick. Are we doing gravy? We, we're not doing gravy as a side, correct? You can't do side. gravy. Okay. That's Just wanted to clarify. Number three, I go cornbread or corn pone, something of that variety. The cornbread, the cornbread, I mean, you really, you can't go wrong with cornbread. It's delicious. Number two, I eat it. I, stuffing is unbelievable if done right. Yeah. Stuffing, yeah. stuffing is just absolutely incredible. And then number one, maybe you're going to shock some people. Maybe not. I would put this up there with my favorite things ever. In terms of food, I'd put it up there with mustard. I'd put it up there with egg rolls. Number one, give me and don't give me homemade. I don't want your mother's rendition. I don't want your great aunt's rendition. I don't give a fuck how good you say it. Give me cranberry sauce out of the can. The sliced jellied cranberry sauce. You chop that up and you put it on turkey. And Jet, obviously, is a big cranberry sauce wow, guy, which I, I love like to say. That. Cranberry God. sauce, oh, wow. regular hand cranberry sauce is like crack. It's like crack. I Mikey can eat B, two cans of it. Why? If if it was that good, why yeah. does it just make an appearance on Thanksgiving? It's a great question, and I don't know why. But but Holly does every once in a while. She'll spoil me. She'll throw me a can of cranberry sauce My with goodness. a regular chicken dinner or something, and I will devour. It's not good for you. It's not good. It's pure sugar but it is absolutely delightful. See that, by the way, that's another thing though, like stuffing. I love your stuffing take and Ooh, I'm a big stuffing that. guy. Love Why stuff. does that only make an appearance great question. come Thanksgiving? Yeah. You know great what I question. mean? Great question. Another great question. Why does turkey only come around? Well, turkey stinks because I think, oh, I think it, it depends how it's that's, cooked. Bob. I think if you get a deep fried turkey, these fried turkeys or some of the other ways they're prepared, I think it could come out right. You got to nail it. If it's done wrong, it's horrific. Well, but it's horrific. I agree, especially if it's out for a while and it gets dry. They're not worse than, worse than uh, you know, dry turkey. But no matter what you do to it, people put beer on it. They baste it. They they inject it with shit. No matter what they do to it, it comes out the same. 
No, it never tastes different. It's only if you fuck it up where it tastes different. Jet, we'll send it over to you. Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. No, it's 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 fair because I was going to say the same thing. Stuffing is 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 my number five, but because it's it's so specific to Thanksgiving that you have to have it and and enjoy it, even if you don't necessarily think it tastes the best. You're eating stuffing on Thanksgiving, and I think it's pretty good. Um, and then so then number four, I have the cranberry sauce with the cranberries. The same thing as 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 Baron. I was nodding because I didn't think anybody was going to have it. And when he had it at number one, that you know that's uh yeah that's interesting. That's it changes impressive. things, yeah. Love yeah. So then I was you know I have it a little higher on the list. Um, number three, I have any sort of and I don't know if this is a, I think it's a side any sort of buttered biscuit. Yeah, like that's a, a great call. Or like a biscuit. That's a great or call. If it's Press soft, likes that. Press it's likes like that a little, a lot. It's like a little <laughs> butter on it. Yeah. It just like kind of like melts in your mouth. Perez's favorite take so far was cornbread and biscuits. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. So it's in the theme here, aren't you? <laughs> Every, everything else was absolutely. Uh, stuffing, 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 stuffing. Yeah, I, can't, I can't. I can't wait for Perez. Me neither. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. Um, no, number two, I have. Uh, all same kind any form of mac and cheese whether yeah. it's regular yeah. mac and cheese or a casserole or any 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 kind of mac and cheese because to me mac and cheese is the best dish the entire year I, i'm seven years old but it is um and then the best the best thanksgiving side is sweet potato like i call it kugel but i guess it's like a casserole Cool. Sweet potato, sweet. That's like a Jewish thing. Sweet. I was potato, gonna say. I was gonna cool. ask, but I didn't want to be yeah. rude. Is that is that it's, a Jewish thing? Yeah, it's like cow. It, yeah, it's like it's like uh, like when you put it in a pan and it goes all the way across and it cooks. That's what we yes, call. It. But yeah, it sounds like sweet a casserole. potato casserole. And bonus is if you um you put the marshmallows on top. Yes. Because sweet potatoes, I don't even like sweet potatoes during the year, but they are good on. Th- they just taste better on Thanksgiving. I don't that is with thanks candy yams yeah. delicious is that what is that what he's yum? describing yeah like, down yes candy yam i mean it, oh, that is it, what i'm saying it okay. could be in the oh, pan okay. it could be in the pan mashed up like that and and my mother used to actually make it like that or it could be like the fat like like skinless like skin yeah mm-hmm. and and then top with the marshmallow but it, i mean they're so sh- soaked in like sugar and cinnamon it tastes like yeah. you're eating candy i mean yeah. that's why it's delicious yeah. Okay. That's, that's my Gentlemen, guess. do we have any issues with um with the Jets five there? Yeah. What was Jet? What was number three? Uh, a buttered biscuit. No, the, the number two. Mac and cheese. Yeah, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Now I don't have an issue with it, but the reason I left it off my list, the I only know. reason is because it's not exclusive to Thanksgiving, in my opinion. I eat it uh, all the time fair. because it's it's always out. It's always I, out, in my I, opinion. But I, I love mac and cheese. You have to be a psycho not to. But I yeah. I, see, I I love to take, and I it bothers me that people, and you're gonna see it yet. Not that you'll give a shit. But you're going to see people <laughs> that are going to be very upset with you about the mac and cheese thing. And just know I stand with you on that. See, I don't, know, much, I don't much, know if they will, Bob. I think they're going to back that thing. I'm saying how much food like is so specific to Thanksgiving. There is plenty, but like you have regular dishes at Thanksgiving. Yeah, so I think I mean, if sides are ever in the conversation, and I don't like mac and cheese because I don't like cheese, that's beside the point. I respect it. And I would say anytime that sides are being discussed, mac and cheese can always go into that list. Steakhouse lobster Correct. mac and cheese, whatever it is. I, I know that it deserves to be there. And anybody in the comments that's bashing mac and cheese as a legitimate side, whatever the occasion is, has lost the plot. <laughs> um, I respect that, FP, I do. Now, Jeff, if somebody does come to you in the DMs that's very upset, do you have a rebuttal for them or will you just let it go? I, I usually don't. It, it goes into the, like, the, you know, requests and I never. There's list. a list. <laughs> I'd kill. <laughs> <laughs> <Which> is- <laughs> oh, I have so many, so many oh, people's requests that I, I just, I like scroll through and, and then that's, I don't, I don't open. <sighs> okay. Um, I am going to, I want to say Fat Perez for last because that is going to be, and Bear Down, I think you know too. I mean, that, yeah, that's going to be less. an interesting, interesting because. You know what? What some people do know, some people don't know, is Vap Perez has a very distinctive selection. I guess you could say on what he, what he'll eat and what Palette. he won't eat. Bow. Yes, Palette. that's that's exactly right. Um, so we'll get into that. Um, I'll go dancing now. At five, you can go ahead and you can give me cornbread. At five, I struggled with five, which is why honorable mention is going to be tough for me. I get it. it it's um. I got cornbread at five. I don't love that five though. 
Um, and then at four, you can go ahead and you can get me the green bean casserole. I think the green bean casserole is a standout, especially if it's done right. Mikey V, I'm I'm right with you there on that. Three, you could go ahead and you can get me stuffing all day long. Um, can't go wrong. And then two, Jet, I'm I'm rolling right there with you. Give me mac and cheese at two. I, yeah. I think mac and cheese is just, uh, especially if you do a um flakes like, like the yeah not the flake but like the breadcrumbs i can or, see where um, this number one's going a two a, a number one, what do you think my number one is mikey v mashed potatoes absolutely yeah, it has to be yeah yeah, yeah i think it's yeah. so incredible i mean look i like it across the, the board question. yeah um see i actually go no gravy with the mashed potatoes i know mm-hmm. that's a little psycho but yeah mm-hmm. I, I i do i use the gravy okay. for the turkey because the turkey's so bland <laughs> Just that's what unbelievable. i do unbelievable you know yeah. ben franklin wanted uh the turkey to be the national bird of america actually is that actually true Brett? <laughs> yeah and whatever ha- whatever happened to him <laughs> he died like we all will like we all got will elect- one day he got <laughs> got electrocuted is that how he died no, I, 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 I don't know. I no, just he, know. He yeah, the, no, the key the kite, and the kite. Like kite, yeah, the yeah. kite incident. Bob oh, yeah. Was that, a, was that, a, yeah. like, is that, did that actually happen? No, I'll never know. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> All right. He was a notorious womanizer, though. That is true. Ben Franklin was? Yeah, yeah. How did Can you, you know this shit? Got around. Like, at like the clubs in uh yeah in france he traveled to france often he had and, the long and, hair right yes he did yeah. that's correct so that did it like, in 1849 yes. or whenever he was around when was he even around guys on the hundred dollar bill he had to do something right so, yeah, yeah, 17s when... you know late 17 mid 70 hours i guess when you live in anyway. virginia you just know a lot about presidents Brez. Well, Virginia history is American history, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> what a bar. What, what an absolute bar. All right, Brez, we'll go to you. Top Historic five Williamsburg. Yes. What what a line. Have you, have you said we that did line? settle in Jamestown, of course. Bob. <laughs> what yeah. a line. Yeah. All right. Um, this is Fat Perez top five sides. Gentlemen, can we get a little bit of a drum roll here, please? There, but yeah. I would like to acknowledge that two of these three sides, I don't eat but I respect them. So they're on the list. Um, I basically eat Turkey and like one or two other things at, at, at Thanksgiving corn, and, corn I, and hot and sauce, biscuits. a lot of hot sauce. Um, I will give green bean casserole. Number five. Is that out um, of res- the out of respect? That's, play? that's out of respect. Um, <laughs> I've heard from people that it's very good. My wife heard, loves it. I've heard from um, people. It's good. That's yeah. tough. My wife loves it. Um, I don't eat it, but it, you know, I think it smells weird, but neither here nor there. Um, my number four would be stuffing out of Again, respect, out of respect. I don't need it. I um, but I know it's, I know it's a thing. I know hold it's on. a love. Hold on Perez. You mean to tell me honest to God, stuffing is a Perez brand food. I would say it's I just, just, I don't bread. know what it is. I don't trust it. I don't need it. Okay. But, but you mean to tell me honestly, Perez, that you could not hold together five sides that you eat. Not not like Thanksgiving sides. Not like like not not that are at Thanksgiving. No. Okay. All right. No, because I mean I can't give you like French fries, right? I no. Would. No. Yeah, no. I don't think that would be that that would be upon. I don't that would think you can do upon. that. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, number th- now we're getting into stuff I eat. Um, number three, I'm gonna go with cornbread. Um, it's delicious. It's it's good all the time. Um, I like it. So sometimes we have chili. Like early in the day, um, and Thanksgiving before the the main the main meal, and I just it's an excuse to eat cornbread. Um, number two is just going to be any sort of dinner roll um, with butter, um, ciabatta, you know, just the standard. So, so bread, bread, any sort of bread, <laughs> sourdough, whatever's whatever's out there. Hey, that's good. Um, it yeah. could be. Could be multiple kinds of bread, whatever it is. Bread, bread with butter, <laughs> and then buttered um, biscuit. At number one, he's got butter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and number one, number one, I have uh, mashed potatoes. Okay, okay. fucking sensational. I don't eat gra- I don't uh, eat gravy either. Um, but mashed potatoes with with turkey and hot sauce is fucking fire. And hot sauce. Um, yeah, I just, just love that cr- shit. Absolutely ruthless, man. Everything. Good, man. And I and that that's it. I mean, that's what I do. I eat turkey. I might I have a very tan plate 
at Thanksgiving, I have turkey, Very I have khaki. mashed potatoes, Very khaki. and I have some sort of bread. <laughs> the only color is like a yellow from the cornbread. And that, yeah, that's about it. And the butter. And the red from the, the hot butter. sauce. Yeah, the you got the red Yes, that, the, the hot sauce yeah. actually came about because someone a few years ago gave me shit about the color of my plate. And I go, I can add a little color to this plate. So I walked over <laughs> to the fridge. I grabbed hot sauce and I just doused red hot sauce and everything. And go, you got some color now, asshole. Yeah, I, I heard Prez's and list I and it. my mouth got dry. <laughs> yeah, it's just unbelievable. And a lot of um, beer. Yeah. Yeah. fellas do we have any honorable mentions i mean prez i know you could do like an out of respect one mikey v do you have an honorable mention i do i i my mother-in-law makes an artichoke pie and it's 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 an actual pie crust it's like a pie it looks like a bakery pie but it's stuffed with cheese melted cheese and artichoke and it's absolutely yeah i could see myself ridiculous really... yeah ridiculous. i could see myself getting behind that yeah it's you would love it um the detroit lions I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, which by the way, they got to stop doing those games with the Lions gonna, at some well, point. You got to okay. call they're it. They're fun quick. to watch now, but I would say, I would say that maybe a butt fumble. I mean, can I can I say corn on on yes. sides? That do corn this? corn niblet. I think it's traditional juice. Thanksgiving uh, fair. Yeah, I kind of wish yeah. I did that at five. To be I honest, with had, you. yeah, I'm 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 regretting not including that. Yeah, well, I I'm, think I'm, your list was perfect as is. To be honest, so yeah. I I, no, I think you. you didn't miss the bread take was probably my favorite take, <laughs> maybe ever. Uh, honestly, I mean, find somebody that disagrees with that. Maybe yeah, they, maybe I they don't, don't think like you'll it. Be, I don't think you'll be. You able don't eat bread. You're you're lying. Like yep. you're lying. Fellas, yep. I love you. I appreciate you. That has been yet another edition, the Thanksgiving edition, one could say, of the Brilliantly Dumb Show. We will see you next time. Mikey V, the Jet, Fat Perez. Till next time, boys. Happy holidays. That's the Brilliantly Dumb Show.